hello everyone welcome back so the first thing we are trying to retrieve the information from the specific table we all know what is the table which you are going to work with which is nothing but select star from persons let's see whether is there any data available here there is no data available here at all so before we are um, moving to the script let's insert some sample data so let me insert uh, some records here so I'm going to person ID 101 last name um, I'll say and first name is Arun and address is um, um, First Avenue and it is Chennai and commit the data okay it's done let's do select R from persons so now we have one recorder existing so when we do the uh, script and when we execute the script we need to retrieve the information okay so again I'm going to write another method which will retrieve the data when fetch fetch data the first thing I need to retrieve the connection so I need to call the get connections method here so I have the connection so once you got the connection you need to have a cursor okay cursor so you need to use the connection to get the cursor to create the cursor cursor done so now we have the connection and the cursor which important things to communicate to the tables so what you're going to, then we need to have the SQL statement which you're going to execute so I'm going to have another variable called uh, SQL underscore fetch underscore data and I'm going to have some SQL queries here select star from persons okay so now we need to use the SQL statement in the cursor to execute it okay I'm going to use a cursor dot execute and my query SQL fetch data so as I said in the previous um, chapter whenever you're doing database operation make sure you'll commit the connection and close the cursor properly okay so now I executed the query now I need to fetch the data one by one okay so let's create a for loop result result n my cursor and print cursor sorry result and as I already said connection dot commit and close the cursor properly okay this is all we need we we have a connection and we have a cursor and we need a we have the SQL statement which needs to be executed and we executed here and we fetch all the data through the cursor and we are looping it and printing it everything and then committing the transaction and closing the cursor okay let's run this right click and run python file in terminal okay that is nothing why the empty result 
let's see that so what is the problem here okay my bad so we created a method and we didn't call it so I'm going to call the fetch data method here fetch data so I'm going to execute the uh, script so what will happen when we call execute the script the fetch data method will be called and these things will be executed just right click and go run python file see 101 and all the information okay so this is how you need to retrieve the data from a table and if you need any specific data for example I needed to take the only the name so you can provide the index so my index is 2 for the first name and save it and run it see you got the data here okay so this is how we need to communicate to the Oracle database and fetch the information from the table okay let's stop this video here because in the next video we are doing the entire CRUD operation including the fetch we are going to do the insert operation and update and delete operations okay we'll see the, each other in the next video thank you